How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator video and in today's video guys We are going to be finishing the work on the uh, The Bugatti Chiron right here. Let me just take a quick peek here uh, It is currently at or valued quote quote at 1.238 million dollars um, And in today's video, I think we're going to probably end up pushing that I think close to 2 million. I think that's what we'll end up hitting um, I'll show you guys how and why in a minute uh, but what we have left to do is suspension, brakes, and drivetrain, and engine. So we have a lot of work to like do ahead of us. This is probably going to be a little bit of a longer video, guys, just because of exactly how much we have to do. Um, but you know what? I'm just going to hop right into it here. So we're just going to get, uh, get the tires off and get the engine out of this. There we go. So I thought about it and I decided I really, really like the look of these rims, guys. Uh, something about them, like the outer edge being silver and then the all the inner edges right here, like right there, as you can see my mouse, uh, even on the interior where all the lugs are, it's all black on the inside, which I think makes it look really, really cool. But you know, that's just me. Oh sweet, the front here doesn't have a cross member. That's gonna make uh it's gonna make our lives a lot easier coming coming here in a minute. Alright, so to get this engine out, uh it is a rear wheel drive, so we gotta drop all the axles out first. It's getting real laggy for some reason. Alright, there we go. And then we can go here to the gearbox. One, two, three, four, and she's done. So now this thing is ready. Uh, to be pulled out of the car. Let me drop it down so we can get it. And sadly, you can't move the engine crane around, so we are going to technically pull it from the front, so it looks weird. All right, and that's out. All right, let me pull the battery, pull the servo. Oh, let me get that. ABS pump, all right. Oh, we'll just turn that back. All right, so now we got our V12 double overhead cam, and oh, let me get this thing rotated. There we go. We'll start with the uh, we'll start with the pistons. So this thing is a 12-cylinder monster, and what we're gonna be doing is oh, we gotta start at the top. Actually, I didn't realize that. Uh, but yeah, what we're gonna be doing is tearing this whole thing down and rebuilding it with performance parts in mind. Um, I'm not really sure how many performance parts are going to be to put in here. Um, I don't know if I've ever done this exact V12 before. Just trying to think, because I know I've done the, uh, what is it called? The Zonda, the Pagani Zonda. I've done that V12, but was that a V10? I can't remember. But anyways, this thing is normally, I think this is usually a, a is, it dub, is it a W16? I think it might be a W16 is usually what this is, but we have a V12 in ours, so it's a little not correct, but it's fine. And this should be pus pushing a ton, a ton of horsepower, guys, by the end of this thing. Uh, let me think. We're doing, uh, it's at like 800 horsepower stock, so we'll probably be pushing close to 12, 1300 by the end of this. And a lot of this, this does like depend upon how the, uh, what would you say, how the, uh, how many performance parts are that are available for this. All right, get this engine head out. There we go. And now, yep, we should be able to just uh, pull these bad boys out. There we go. All right, and now that those are all out. Yeah, so we're just gonna pull this entire thing down to the bone, uh, repair what we can of it, use what we can, and then obviously overload it with some high performance parts. All right, there we go. All right, I'm gonna run through really quick and repair all this. So if I just, all right, so we saved some stuff. All right, so starting off, we got that. Wow, that block, the head of that block looks super, super clean. 
All right, so what we're going to do is start from the bottom up. We're going to do bottom, we're going to do top, and then front, and then transmission. In that exact order. All right, and then we need, what is this, two, three, four, five bearings. So five crankshaft bearings. We're gonna, I'm going to try and do this as efficiently and quickly as possible. So V12. Is it a V12 or W12? Uh, just regular crankshaft bearings. All right. So five of those crankshaft pulley. Then we're gonna grab piston rings. Twelve of those. Grab our rod caps. We need twelve of these, and then we can start dipping into some performance parts in here. And we're gonna get. Uh, I hope it's just the regular. Let me double check. Make sure I'm not doing this wrong. Yeah, it's just regular pistons with connecting rods. No uh, no special like non-interference tips or something like that. I've gotten burned on that one time before. This is crazy, the amount of pistons that are in this. There's some of the cars we were working on before that only have four. So this is three times the amount. If you compare the amount of horsepower that this has to a Jeep Willys, which is 81 stock, I think is what it is, or 80 stock. That's uh, that's pretty nuts. All right, let's get this. Getting all my bearing, there you go, all the bearing caps in. Now you get all of our connecting rod caps. Yeah, this is just gonna take a, a lot longer. This video is gonna be a lot longer than usual, guys. Um, probably going to be looking at like a 35, 40 minute video just because we're going to be doing the suspension along with this also. So, you know, why not? So yeah, if you guys want to see the numbers and, uh, how much horsepower we end up pushing, make sure you stick around towards the end. Uh, I'm also going to run it on the drag strip with its race tires. I think is what we slapped onto it. Um, we'll run it on the drag strip and see what it puts down for numbers. I think in real life, this is a, like a two, six car, I think is what it is. 2.6 seconds and the I think is that the, it's not the quarter mile that's the 0 to 60 0 to 60 is 2.6 the quarter mile is probably probably 9 or 8 seconds I think all right 12 I can just come into here and just look for everything we need I think yeah so I think this this is the Pagani motor I'm pretty sure Pretty sure that's the only V12 that we have in the game is the Pagani one. All right, let's get this bad boy rotated. Start working on the upper end here. So we can get fuel filter, engine head B, engine head A. Let's go to here. Let's go to this, grab our fuel stuff. Then grab V12, engine head A, engine head B. Okay, so these are, I think this might be a separate... This might be a separate uh, setup than the Pagani Zonda, but it is still the Pagani one. Seven horsepower, or seven percent horsepower gain, I'll take that. Let's see, so we need camshafts and spark plugs. Grab four of those. I think we're gonna need 12 of these. Oops, let me get that out of there. We want to make sure we do all performance parts. And then we need manifold B, V12A, manifold A, V12A. And I know these are performance, so I can find these. Yes. Two, two, two for each side. All right, there we go. And then cam gears, all of ours are trashed. Got four of those, and then camshaft caps, and we're looking for the V12. I'm not sure if it's the V12B or V12 10. Okay, yeah, there it is. So there's six, 
there's six each side. Is there 20 total? There might be five on each side. Yeah, there's five on each side. All right. There's just so many parts to buy for this thing. There we go. I don't think I could ever even do the the 10k challenge on this car. I think it might have to be like a 30 or 40 thousand dollar challenge because I just think the sheer amount of parts on this alone, even with repairing them and trying to use a fully like in like tacked one, I think just the repairs alone would run me over ten thousand dollars just with the sheer amount. There is so much stuff on this. All right, then what are we gonna be running? Head cover V12A. All right, I think it is, I think it's these ones. Let me double check though. Head cover, head cover A, V12A, all right. There's a couple different head covers for this motor here, so I'm not quite sure what it wants us to be running. All right, then we're going to need ignition coils. All right, sweet. All righty, get our... That's crazy that each one of these, with, with this pair of camshafts that I put on, it boosts it by a 6% gain, which is 1% less than the head itself. So those camshafts are really, really putting in work there for... Uh, Increasing horsepower gains on this bad boy. Oh, I'm so excited to see what this thing's gonna do. I've been trying to think if I want to sell this or not, or if I want to keep it. And I think as of now, guys, I might hold on to it. I am only investing like two hundred thousand dollars into the car. I think I bought it for a hundred and twenty-eight. I think is what it was. Um, or 200 and something. I don't know either way, but I've only put it like about $200,000 into it so far. Um, so I think, I think we're going to, I think we're going to hold on to it for a bit. Okay. And then we're going to go to this to here. And I think we're already on the page. So I need to see if we have a, uh, performance air intake for this thing, which I would hope we do. B12A... There it is. All right, what are we doing for fuel rails? All right, V12 fuel rail. Gotcha. We're doing V12A. Okay. Manifold cover. Um. No, I don't think it's that one. I don't think we want that. I want this, though. I want this. And let's find... So it's this one. Then I think that's it. Which one takes that? That is a really cool intercooler cover. I need to find out which one, which Pagani that is. But anyways, uh, besides the point, let's go to tuning. Ignition, get our V12s. And then I don't think there's any cover on this. Yeah, I think there's just a, uh, I think the engine, engine cover that the uh, that the body puts on, is what's gonna help that out. All right, then we need a coil cover. All right, so you need cover B. There it is. Wow, that motor is, or this motor is just crazy. There's so many parts to this thing. Let's see, so we need serpentine belt, V12, okay. Pick that, pick that. All right, I bought a bunch of stuff. I don't know what's gonna work and what's not gonna work, so let's find out here. Oh, I figured I would need four of these. One for each side of the belt that has happened before okay then we need pulley uh, water pump we need shoe a 
Where's it at? Here's water pump. There's that. Buy two of those. What else? What else? What else? Did I buy shoe A? I don't think so. Yeah, I didn't. All right, there we go. That's a lot. Not even sure what these covers are. T timing cover C. Where are those at? Oh, it's because I have V12A in there. Ah. Now they'll pop out. There they are. Okay. And is it this one that takes the... Yeah, this is the one that takes the extra... I guess I gotta wait for that to put up, be put on. One of these takes an extra sprocket, I thought. Unless that is the... Oh, yeah, this is also the dubber... Dubber. <laughs> the double water pump pulley. Uh, and then power steering pump. Okay, we got this. Let's see, water pump pulley. Then we also want the power steering pump for V12, is what that said? V12. Okay, looks like we got a... Looks like we gotta go with the stock options here. There it is. Can't believe this thing needs two pulleys to power the water pump. I mean, it is a huge, huge engine, so I can understand it, but still, dang. All right, let's get our serpentine belts, check. That's the only one we need, actually. This one belt covers the entire motor here. Yeah, that's nuts. Get our cover set into place. Alrighty, now let's get this transmission and clutch all ready to go. Let me see. Ah, dang it. There we go. Flywheel. Clutch, push plate, clutch plate. All right, I think I still have a couple bearings left. Oh, I have about six left. All right, there we go. The motor is done. Let me pull that off the stand. Let's put this thing back into the car. Car entrance A. All right, awesome. So with that back in the car, we can now go in here. Did I repair any of this? I did, okay. Oh, we need a new ABS. Anti-lock braking system. I just bought two pumps. That's all right. I'll use one in the future. <laughs> all righty. I'm going to get this battery charging while we work on the suspension here. Let's get that charge going. All right. I'm going to fast forward through this and uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to time lapse of action i'll just start all right i'll see you guys back here when the transmission or not the transmission when the suspension and brakes are taken out of the car and we'll get them repaired and ready to go all righty guys there we go i just got this entire thing torn down uh ready to be put back in it actually did not take nearly as long as i thought it would uh which is fantastic uh all right so now we're definitely gonna have to do a upgraded gearbox in this thing because it's gonna be pushing like an extra 500 horsepower i think maybe uh, i don't know uh hopefully pushing an extra 500 horsepower so we are definitely going to be wanting to use there we go upgraded billeted gearbox all right the starter on there it's nice because this thing doesn't have a drive shaft and it just uses axles so it's super super easy to put together right, there we go I still need to go through and buy all the uh, parts to this double wishbone shock. Uh, actually, really quick, let's do this. Double wishbone shock is over rear, shock is over front. That was super easy. Just type in ABS next time I need uh, need anything to do with shocks. 
Grab our springs. There we go. Alright, really quick. Let's join all these together. Get that get this whole mess going. Go to brakes. We're gonna need two ventilated, two discs, four pads. I don't know if we saved the calipers at all. I didn't really check to see. I was just zooming through them, so. I know we were gonna need new hub bearings. Uh, no caps though. At least this does not take nearly as long as balancing and mounting for tires. Oh, hey, I just realized this is gonna be done over here. I should have really finished this Bentley actually. I'll probably end up doing that some, actually no, I finished it. I haven't even started it. What am I thinking? I just looked at it and I was like, wow, that thing looks really sad. Yeah, that Bentley is going to be uh, be really fun. Does this one have the W12 w, w twin turbo in it? Yeah, that one is going to be insane. All right, we'll hop over to this side for now. Rear knuckle axle cover. Sweet, so we saved both bottom suspension arms. Makes my life a little bit easier. Upper suspension. Yeah, we've uh, I've been repairing pretty much everything. I'm also oh crap. I'm also two levels or basically one and a half levels away from being max level, guys. And I cannot tell you how excited I am to unlock this final little uh, little uh, what do you even call it upgrade that I'm gonna get. It's this weird like lucky charm looking thing. I don't even know how to wait how to describe it to you uh, we don't want the 20s we want the 21s there you go i got bamboozled uh yeah if you go to the toolbox see i have everything purchased and then this last one right here good to be lucky i don't know what that means but i like the sound of it and i really 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 hope it's something good i hope it's like uh if you break something it doesn't breaks or break or i don't i don't know if any of you guys know, leave a comment down below. I would love to know. I could probably just go look it up, but I'm waiting for the uh, for the thrill and excitement. I'm waiting to put the last screw in right before the uh, level 50. Uh, and if you guys are wondering, my full level 50 is completely legit. I have never modded this game at all except for cars, obviously. I have modded cars, but my money and everything is completely real, which I really like. If you wanted to get level 50 and in infinite money right away, guys, you would just go into sandbox mode, by the way, which just gives you all the money you want. Alrighty, so putting this fuel pump in. That completes the rear half of the car. The entire rear half is good, ready to go. You could slap this thing on the ground right now, scrape the front, and drive if you really wanted to. But we're not going to do that. Uh, let's see, tie rods. Let's see, knuckle. Front and steering knuckle C. Then what was our sway bar? Sway bar B. All right, good to know. Bottom suspension arm. Okay, let's combine these things. Bottom suspension arm. Okay, just regular right suspension arm. All right, all right, all right. And then sway bar B, which will mean front end link B, I think. I don't think it's A's. I think it's B's. And if I add this in. Yep. Yeah, I think those core correspond to each other, but I'm not sure. All right, I'm gonna need another upper suspension arm. Then also, we're gonna have to restock on our rubber bushings. We are almost out. I think we're. I think we just used our final three actually. All right, front wheel hub. Looks like the front did not have nearly a good time as uh the rears on getting every getting everything uh repaired 
which is a real, real shame. Uh, we need another caliper, two more cylinders, and then we need the front hub. Okay. And the drive axle. Dang, we really did not do too great on that, did we? All right, get our rims on. Yeah, these rims just look amazing on this car for some reason. I'm not one for like the weird looking fancy rims, but these ones, ooh, these ones are nice. All righty. Just slap the enter key and it will all slide into place. Link. What else we got? Ventilated disc, hub bearing, brake pads. Oh, we need the axle. That's what it was. I say I was thinking in the back of my mind. I, I know I need something, but I can't remember. So front drive axle A. Front drive axle A. Check. Check. There we go. What are we missing? Seats, batteries, rear clamshells. All righty. Ooh, who's excited? Who's excited? Come on, let me click on it. There we go. Brake. Battery, check. Let's get all this goodness slid into place. So I didn't see what the, uh, what the estimated price of the car was. So it's going to be... It's gonna be a mystery to me until I do this. Wait, what am I doing? Get out. I'm gonna remove these seats. All right, let's find some nice leather seats. Okay. Um. All right, we're just gonna to have to go with the classic leather D. It's just a great all-around sports car seat. Oh, mama. That is quite the uh, restoration bonus here, guys. So there we go. We are finished. 100, 100, 100. It is worth $2.233 million. So we are going to profit quite a bit off of that. We're going to profit about $2 million off of it. Um, the reason I wanted to go with the full restoration on this, guys, is as you can see, the higher the price, the higher the restoration. We are getting almost a quarter of the value of this car from the restoration bonus, which is four hundred and forty six thousand or it's a fifth of the price but uh four hundred and forty six thousand dollars which is absolutely monstrous that is insane we could buy two more of these at the uh junkyard for the restoration bonus alone so that's that's pretty nuts uh really quick i just realized i forgot to do something something very very important there it is Let's get some oil on this bad boy. Forgot the camera on this. It's super slanted. All right, there we go. Now we can slap this on, slap this on. Check, done, all right. All right, she is good to go. Uh, first, first off, what am I doing? First off, let's see what type of power it really puts down, okay? Oh, I'm excited. All right, stock, she's got 800 on the mark. So I'm going to be guessing, I'm guessing 1,200. I'm guessing 1,200. Oh, my, that is loud. Okay. Oh, 1,000. 389 horsepower on our Bugatti Chiron right here, guys. That is, uh, that's a lot of horsepower. That's, uh, it's a lot of horses fit in this nice little, uh, nice little car here. That's insane. 1,000. What's the Dodge Durango guy? I know it's got the Hemi in it. 549. Wow. All right. Well, 
Let's see if she can make those numbers work. So um, I'd probably get a better time on this, guys, if I slapped on some racing slicks, uh, some drag tires on this. But I don't want to go through the whole process of putting slicks on these tires, or removing the uh, race tires, putting slicks on, and everything, yada, yada, yada. All right, let's see what she, let's see what she does. All right, hopefully I don't spin out. Just a little bit of spinning out. Oh, wow. I should have tuned the gearbox. Zero to 60 and 3.9. I'll take it, that's not too bad. Wow, we are climbing 213. We got seventh gear. Oh, 232 miles an hour for our final t uh, top out speed there. That's uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's pretty quick, you know, guys. That's uh, that's that's insane. That's that's so fast. But there we go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this supercar build here. Where's it? Where'd it go? Oh, it's over here. I hope you guys enjoyed the supercar build here. I did. I think it's insane how much horsepower this thing actually ended up having. But in the next video, we're going to be doing the Dodge Durango Off-Road Edition. Uh, probably slapping some bigger tires on it, making it more off-roady. Um, probably beefing up the Hemi, of course, because what else are you going to do to a Hemi? Uh, yeah, I'll probably be beefing that up. But there we go. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys joined Car Mechanic Simulator, leave a like and a comment down below. And if you guys are not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. We are almost to 100K, and I'm, go I'm so excited for that. Uh, but yeah, there we go, and hopefully I will see you all in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.